Billy Graham, known as America's pastor, dies at 99. Billy Graham, whose matchless voice changed the lives of millions, dies at 99. Evangelist Billy Graham, a confidant to presidents. A guiding light to generations of American evangelicals and a globe-trotting preacher who converted millions to Christianity, died Wednesday at the age of 99, his spokesman confirmed to CNN. Graham passed away at his home in Montreat, North Carolina, spokesman Jeremy Bloom said. The skinny preacher with the booming voice evangelized to nearly 215 million people over six decades and prayed with U.S. presidents from Harry Truman to Barack Obama. Several presidents, including Lyndon Johnson, George W. Bush and Bill Clinton, relied closely on his spiritual counsel. He was tall and handsome, with a disarming aw shucks demeanor and a southern twang to his voice. But Graham's influence, historians say, was monumental. Some called him America's pastor, others referred to him as the Protestant Pope. Graham is reported to have persuaded more than three million people to commit their lives to Christianity and his. Preaching was heard in 185 of the world's 195 countries. According to the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association, He was probably the dominant religious leader of his era. No more than one or two popes, perhaps one or two other people, could come close to what he achieved, said William Martin. A former historian at Rice University and the author of A Prophet with Honor. The Billy Graham story, Vice President Mike Pence said in a statement that Karen and I were saddened to learn of the passing of one of the greatest Americans of the 20th century. Reverend Billy Graham. We send our deepest condolences to the Graham family. Billy Graham's ministry for the gospel of Jesus Christ and his matchless voice changed the lives of millions. We mourn his passing but I know with absolute certainty that today he heard those words, well done, good and faithful servant, thank you Billy Graham. God bless you, former President Jimmy Carter said in a statement that he and his wife Rosalind are deeply saddened at the news of Graham's death and that he was pleased to count Reverend Graham as a friend and advisor.